Hello and welcome to another Understand Your Buying video. In this video, we're looking at the repurposing effect. So what is it? Well, the repurposing effect is the process of encouraging clients to consume your offering in new ways. How does it work? Well, it works because sometimes we need to be told that we can use products and services in new and different ways, not just in the ways that we know and understand. For example, who knew that cereal could be such a great snack or that you could use Coca-Cola to clean your toilet? Often when a product or service is repurposed, it can lead to feelings of exclusivity among the buyers and create a subculture of clients, as evidenced by the cereal cafes that seem to have popped up across the world. So how can you use it? Well, if appropriate to your offering, how can you encourage your clients to consume your products or services in new ways? If you have a personal offering, could it be repurposed to businesses. If you have a business offering, could you repurpose it to personal clients? You can begin by looking at the opposite of the marketplace where you sell and how your offering is consumed. Factors such as date, time, weather, gender, and more can be flipped to find new potential buyers and repurposing success. The repurposing effect is all about the fact that if you want your clients to buy more or consume more of your offering, then you simply need to find new ways for them to consume it faster. Cereal is the great example here. It's become a snack for many. It's no longer confined just to breakfast. Well, that's it for another Understand Your Buyer video. And if you like this kind of stuff, then you'll definitely like the book, which you can buy at understandyourbuyer.com.